Jesus is our kumu. Jesus is our teacher. And as an illumined spiritual master, he has the power to burn up your karma. For example, you owe someone a favor. You ran over someone's pet. You lied. You yelled at your kids. You worked at a company that added on extra administrative fees to the customers. But whatever you've done in this lifetime and in past lifetimes, a spiritual master like Jesus has the ability to burn up all that karma. And that's what they do in India. The monks at an ashram will sit there all day for days on end in front of a pit of fire. And then they have your name written on a piece of paper with your birth date. And then just sit there and they burn your karma on your behalf so that you don't have to pay for your own sins. And that kind of fire prayer is called a puja. So here's one monk talking to another monk saying, but what did he do? Uh, well, you know, he, he sold, he sold weapons to Iran. Uh, yeah, uh, burn that karma, baby. Just burn it up. Put that in there. <clears throat> So that's why I'm wearing an orange robe today, because we are going to burn your karma. Orange is the color of flame. So let me explain what karma is. If you borrowed money on your credit card, but you use that money to help someone, like you were paying for your child's medical care, you're helping someone pay their rent or buy groceries for their family, that's good karma. And when you take care of someone else, God will repay you. And maybe he won't give you cash, but he'll give you a car or give your kids a scholarship to go to college. On the other hand, if you borrowed money just because you were depressed and you wanted to buy things to mask your pain with pleasure, you wanted to buy someone's love, get people to like you or praise you, or because you were angry, you wanted to get back at someone by showing them that you don't need them. Okay, that's bad karma. And that's when you need Jesus to cleanse your bad karma by burning up your karma. And that's when you need Jesus to pay off your credit card debt. And when he does that, he doesn't just pay off your debt. He burns off all that depression and all that anger that caused you to borrow money in the first place. Does that make sense to you? So Jesus isn't just paying off your financial debt. Jesus is paying off your emotional debt. And when Jesus pays off your credit card bill, he isn't just paying off what you owe to restaurants and stores. He's also paying off what you owe to yourself. You owe it to yourself, to your soul, to not be depressed or angry. And you owe yourself some joy and some happiness and peace. It's not about the money, it's about the karma. The karma that you incurred was that you ripped yourself off. And instead of giving yourself some grace, you gave yourself anger and revenge in the form of a $15,000 Gucci purse, or you gave yourself insecurity in the form of a $600 champagne brunch at the country club for you and your girlfriends. The karma you incurred is instead of accepting and loving yourself when you fail, you punish yourself for failing or not living up to your own expectations. That's the karma that needs to be burned off. How you treat yourself is the karma that needs to be cleansed. And how you treat yourself can also be one reason why your prayer is not being answered fast enough. So think about this. How are you treating yourself? If you're punishing yourself or you're ignoring yourself or treating yourself like you're not important, then that's how the universe is going to treat your prayer request. Like it don't matter. It's not urgent. I can wait. But if you treat yourself like you're important, you are very, very important. You always put your priorities first and you matter. You do the work to make yourself matter. Then the universe is going to treat your prayer request like, oh, it's really important. They got to hop to it. Let's get this done. 
So please write in your journal, how I treat me is how the universe treats my prayer requests. <laughs> 